I have learned how to steal the god powers from the Angel of Tabs. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you what happens when you decide to mess with Crow. But I guess the big question is, can I use his own powers against him? So as you've guessed it, I have figured out how to abuse brand new god powers. Just let me uh, set some units over here. Let me just go over here and uh, turn on my god powers once more. And as you can see, there are some really weird looking god powers here, including an <gasps> asteroid. Which one of you want to get rocked in the face? You know what? I think it's going to be the blue team because nobody likes the blue team. I actually had a clan back by Team Fortress 2 days called SIB or as it was stood for, suck it blue. So I should have summoned a bunch of asteroids. Wait, this person right here has not hit the red subscribe button. You're probably part of the 87% who haven't done so. It's the subscribe button. Join the murder of grows. Join the 12%. Let's see. Oh, okay, pause. Oh, are these asteroids being summoned out of the nether to slam down on blue? <laughs> I absolutely adore god powers. Let's just uh, ramp us up geomancers. I don't remember geomancers. Let's put some on the field. Headhunters? How about a single, single headhunter? Um, over there, I some, uh, geomancers, thanks to Mons. And this here is a headhunter who is a sick looking knight. What god power do I want to test on them now? What about this as guardian spear? Can I just like fire Hono? Okay, this is fine. Perfectly fine. Oh, look at that power. That's so cool. Except the geomancers are summoning giant. Has anybody seen the knight? Um, I almost want to let this. Oh, <laughs> What has happened? I believe the knight actually, why can't I go inside of this? It's like I forget what these mods can do. Hmm, what else do we have here? Big light arrow. Well, let me just uh, switch this to a super beam. And we're gonna try and take this big, whoa, that's a big light arrow. Whoa, yeah. Oh, I love God powers. They're the best part of this game. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh. It actually went right through all the Geomancer's little shields. And it, it, it launched music? Hold on, can I actually hit or kill one of these things? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, the big light arrow just went through the dude inside and he's still alive. Okay, hold on. Are these big light arrows able to like hit anything? I'm just gonna test it on these poor squires. Give them a little present from their god crow. Do these light arrows actually, um, no, they don't. They, they don't, they don't do anything. They're literally useless. They're they're pretty and useless. Oh, find it, find it. What about a black hole grenade? You're gonna like a black hole grenade, aren't you? Let me just uh, put a single black hole. Whoa, actually, that was super beam. There might be more than one there. Uh, black hole grenade. Oh yes, that works swimmingly. Allow me to participate by adding black holes for days. <laughs> God powers. So uh, clearly our God powers are quite strong. So what I want to do is test just how strong they are against specific powerful units. So we're going to place uh, Benny over here. We're, we're going we're, we're gonna to keep Benny alive. Benny, just, just stay right there, buddy. I mean, sure, you're, you're standing near a, an abyss going straight down into pff, nothing. And over there is the, uh, the ghost peasant. You can actually see the ghost peasant through the walls. That's how ghosty he is. So let me find something to shoot at this thing. Thing. Bl but blood drain? Do you have blood, Mr. Ghost? Let me see if I can hit you. I I'm currently activating blood drain. Let's see if it works. Nope, blood drain does not work. Blood drain does not work. Bone? Is it a Sans ability? Comic Sans! Let's see if the bones. <laughs> <laughs> it is from Sans. Here, have a have a bone to pick with you, Mr. Ghost. Especially if I get nice and oh, if you get close up with the ghost, you can hit him with the bones. <laughs> Sans is all powerful. You will not resist. Um, as you can see. Uh, we have a lovely bony path of destruction leading the ghost peasant towards the abyss. Uh, bouncy ball. Do, do you like balls? Can I put balls with your bones? That's probably a mistake. Are the bouncy balls happening? No, they're just kind of falling. Never mind, I stand corrected. Would you like some candy? No, what is, is that candy? 
We're sure that's candy. Cause uh, our, our bony ghost peasant just wrecked by candy. It's like little tiny pieces of candy canes going everywhere. <laughs> Benny, we did it. Benny, you can go over here again. Cause now I want to see if we can use some new God powers on the chaos peasant. So I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to look for some God powers. Divine striker. That sounds simply divine. Let me just come up to the uh, Mr. Cast Peasant. Ooh, 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 those are beautiful swords. Oh, has anybody seen the Chaos Peasant? Uh, did he go inside the ship? Blue victory. No, he teleported to Benny. Well, that's unfortunate. No, he didn't teleport to, is that, is that him? Hold on a second. Let me just uh, escalate this to super spray. Yeah, you think, you think you're gonna survive? You think, you think you're gonna make it? But what if I 360 degrees surround you with divine strikers? I am a god and I will save Benny. Go! Uh, 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 what? Look, look, look at this, look at this energy going up into the distance, Benny. Okay, Benny looks okay. All right, so I hit him with the divine strike. What's going on behind Benny? Benny, there's something behind you. Uh, okay. Wait, red victory. Did we actually kill the the chaos peasant with divine strikers? I love god powers. Oh, I have another idea. Benny, 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 we're in the realm of darkness because there is one dark god that I want to defeat. It is the unnamed peasant. He's the, the shadowy mist over there. It's now your turn, Mr. Unnamed Peasant. Emails. C can I throw emails at him? I mean, in the grand scheme of the- Oh my god, they're actual e- they're, No, they're physical mail. Email is an electronic digital bunch of ones and zeros and pixels and stuff. There's there's no physical email, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Huh, and the emails kind of went through the unnamed peasant. Gingerbread house. Hold on, I'm gonna switch this to a single shot. Gingerbread, now uh, I summoned an entire gingerbread house. Ha! You're trapped inside. There's no way you're gonna just simply ignore the ginger. Have another gingerbread house. You know what? I'm gonna summon a whole boatload of gingerbread houses. <gasps> Look at the mess. Oh, oh okay. I, I think I, one of the gingerbread houses just came back here and smoked Benny. God. Sealers. Oh, hold on. What is it? 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 I'm just gonna. Okay. It's that arrow. It lands. It's an explosion of light. Oh, God Sealers sound like the perfect weapon uh, that could do something to the unnamed peasant who is basically a dark god himself. Will the gods. Those are grapples. These are God Sealers. They're gra- Well, fine then. Get hit by grapples. Um, I thought those were God Sealers. Apparently, I switched off of God Sealers. Let me try- Where is he? Can't see him. Let me try this again. I think that's his torso right there. I'm now summoning countless numbers of God Sealers. Clearly, plungers didn't do the job, but will- <sighs> Beautiful explosion. He didn't care. The unnamed peasant didn't care. He walked right through it. Mayhem missile? Okay, I have I have to see. I have to see what the mayhem missile is gonna do. I'm sorry. There's gotta be something that can defeat the unnamed peasant. Oh! That was a massive explosion, but he still came over here and slaughtered Benny. Mjolnir! I can summon Mjolnir. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna smoke him in the face. Watch this, ready? I'm now summoning a massive amount of Mjol. I'm painting a beautiful Mjolnir picture. He's gonna get hit by so many thunder hammers, he won't know what hit him. Well, he will know what hit him because it's Mjolnir's. Here we go. That must have been about, mm, I don't know, 100 Mjolnir. Oh no. Physics. Physics is bad. Physics is. Oh, hold on a second. Physics is like literally, I cannot take the cameraman through the Mjolnirs. They have collision detection and they're massive. And there's now a giant field of Mjolnirs spinning around like crazy. But the dark peasant doesn't care about our Norse lightning god's weaponry. He walked forward through the Mjolnir field. Cause that's a phrase. The Mjolnir field. Oh, 
Ah, so the unnamed peasant was a little powerful. Now I must save the Benny from the Seraphim. I don't know which god power is going to do the job, but we're going to try. Gaia spirit? I'm totally willing to find out what a Gaia spirit is. Allow me to just hold the right click button and summon seemingly nothing. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, no. The, the guy spirit, whatever it was, went right through him. And they're going that way now. Geomancer grab. Is that those? Oh, those are those rocky fists. So if I come over here and I just summon. Oh, I don't know. I am now inside the Geomancer's grab. And I'm just kind of, kind of, you know, hitting him with a pile of fists right through him. Um, Why do some things get stuck on the outside of him and some things go right through? Kinetic ray? Whoa. No, oh, believe it. He, he killed. He killed Larry. Sorry, Larry. We'll try this again. Severed punches. Are those one man, one punch man punches? Hold on. <laughs> what is that? What is? Why is there blood coming out the? Heart? What is going on? Okay, I skipped past about 100 god powers. Believe me, there's a lot. I have the Sin Breaker. For those that don't know, the Sin Breaker is is the swords that he summons. Literally, his swords. This is his god power that I'm now about to drop onto the giant head cranium of this angel god. This has to do something to the angel in three, two, one, go! Straight through. Oh my god, look at the amount of power. But the seraphim doesn't care. The seraphim shook it off. It's always just... I fart at your general direction. You're just immune to everything, aren't you? This Saitama right here, who's practically immortal. Honestly, he's actually almost too overpowered. Not gonna lie. For example, I could take something like a boatload of Artemises, and I'll, I'll, I'll throw some more over here, right? And then I'll throw some over here. And just, this is just for control test. Look at that. Look at this man dodge. It's insane. He decimates this army just so quickly. You ever play dodgeball as a kid? I was a dodgeball champion, and there's no way I could like this this is insane though if we play dodgeball with arrows that would be a whole different class so regular gods stand no chance against saitama he's far too strong he's far too powerful look at him dodge look at that he's like a jiggly jiggly man this dude's got some serious side hops and now he's decimating the last of her artemis army what does one artemis think she's going to do against the one punch man yeah, where'd he go? Artemis? Hi, Do you see him? Found him! Regular Artemises. They're strong, but we're gonna we're gonna delete them. They're gone now. Goodbye. So instead, we're going to our lovely mod and we're gonna type in ammo. I'm gonna go from one ammo to eleven ammo. Spread? We're not gonna modify the spread. Recoil, we're definitely not modifying the recoil. Attack speed, we'll leave it alone. And now I'm actually gonna take the exact Artemises we just had. And I'm gonna summon a group over here and a group over here. And over here. Now these Artemises are firing 11 arrows instead of one. And they're in giant chunks of arrows. You can see that Saitama is becoming far more of a pincushion than he was before. As 11 arrows are striking him for every one arrow. And that doesn't matter. He punched one pile. He serious punched the other. And now he's slowly dancing his way to this pile of Artemises. It's useless. It's pointless. We need to go even bigger numbers. We need... Even bigger number. Let me just go over here and uh, slap down Saitama right there. Perfect. Looks great. And let's go to a uh, uh, 50 ammo and a uh, uh, one spread. We'll do one spread. Zero recoil and regular attack speed. That's that's great. It's gonna be great. Nothing's gonna go wrong. And this time we're gonna go with regular old um, archers, right? Just just these guys here, regular archers. And I'm gonna summon a beautiful ring of archers. Now this is gonna be fantastic. Each arrow is actually gonna be 50 arrows and the arrows are all gonna fire at once and you'll feel a little bit of lag in the game when it fires. All right, all right, are you ready, Saitama? There's a lag and there's the 50 arrows. Pause, look at that. Each archer fired 50 arrows and they're all aimed at Saitama's belly or what was Saitama's belly. Now Saitama's doing his side hops thing. Seriously, could you not even give them a chance, Saitama? And the side hop, he dodged every single arrow. I like how they made this really cool rig of arrows. That's actually fantastic. If only they landed on Saitama. Though it seems a few may have caught his hand. That's great. Look at that. That's wonderful. And now his consecutive normal punches has decimated that entire army or 
half the army. And then the serious punch destroys the rest. You know what you need, Sama? You need a little bit of control. Yeah, we're gonna take this to the simulation map. Oh, no, no, the arena. Here we are on the arena, and I'm actually gonna change the line. The line is no longer going to be straight. Is actually going to be a ring and poor one punch man shall be placed in the center of the ring why would i put you in the middle of an arena saitama don't worry about it everything's going to be fine and now we need to find a way to control saitama the harpooners are exactly that control if we take the harpooners and we just go around just like this now he is surrounded 360 degrees by people that want to crowd control him including the long neck harpooner and the re short harpooner this is what happens when all the harpooners fire on saitama and the majority of them miss again in this really beautiful fanning direction and this is the result i expected from regular everyday harpooners they're doing a decent job of controlling him but saitama's quite strong and he just burrows his way through all these minions but what if we took the harpooners and we turn them into gods. Yeah, that serious punch is a little bit ridiculous. We need to go to an even more Bruh. open map. Look at all the room to play. Now we're talking. Let's grab one punch man, slap him down in the middle, and uh, no, no, not harpooners. One punch man. Oh, Saitama, look at the size of this map. There's so much room for activities here. And let's actually test the maximum range of the harpooners. We are going to control Saitama. Now, these harpooners, as you can see, are really far away. The question is, at this distance, at this range, can they reach one punch man? Let's find out. Okay, good. At this distance, they all open fire and they all hit Saitama, but we know how this is gonna end. They didn't do a job. They didn't do a good job. They're actually harpooning each other, flicking each other across the room. One punch man is still unfair. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take the ring and increase it a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, bigger harpoon is around there we go now we're doing the size test because the bigger the ring the more harpooners we can fit in it can they all reach they can all reach we must go bigger we are at over a hundred harpooners now can they still reach saitama at this range they can oh my goodness more than a hundred harpooners i think a hundred is a perfectly good number guys can a hundred regular harpooners control saitama he's, he's there he's standing in the middle he's doing his dodges Oh no, the harpooners are dragging each other in because they're missing each other with the harpoons and Saitama breaks free. 100 normal harpooners are not enough to stop One Punch Man. We have to upgrade the harpooners. Let's start with a harpooner that fires instead of one harpoon, 10 harpoons. Zero spread, zero recoil, one attack speed. Select our harpooners and then place them around One Punch Man. 101 harpooners, just like the 101 Dalmatians and they open fire and look. Look at the sheer number of harpoons. 10 harpoons per shot. Boom, look right there. That's 10 harpoons, and that's 10 harpoons, and that's 10 harpoons, and that's 10 harpoons, and he has been skewered with easily 100 harpoons. Is this enough to control Saitama? Here we go. Slow-mo, full speed. He's there, he's not moving. The harpooners are missing. He's dodging all the shots, and the dodging is causing the harpooners to drag each other to each other, to, to, yeah, drag each other to each other. Sure, why not? That's English. Saitama is still in the middle of the map. He's starting to resist. He's made it to the outer ring, and now we have disaster. You guys ever been to your grandma's house where she's got like the sewing set, and then she's got this little like pin cushion thing where all the pins are stabbed into? That's Saitama right now. Though I doubt grandma has this many pins. And oh, Saitama, your eyes. What's wrong with your eyes? This is quite the moment, I gotta say. Yeah, One Punch Man is about to destroy every single one of these gods. I don't think 10 is enough. I think they need to fire closer to 50 this next time. Let's give it a shot. And we're gonna delete this ring of gods. Goodbye, gods. And this time we're gonna upgrade it to 50 shots with a zero spread, a zero recoil, and a one attack speed. For those of you wondering what the spread looks like, I'll show you later. And now we're gonna summon 100 of these gods. Hopefully they don't ruin my computer considering they're each firing 50 projectiles. This could be a bad idea. 101 Dalmatians, 101 Harpooners firing 50 shots. You've got um hourglass figure Harpooner. Now my new favorite, this guy's waist is tight. And then you got a big brother, Harpooner. Just, 
just everyone's big brother. He's just so huge. Oh, and you've got little brother Harpooner. Hey, Hobbit boy. And this Harpooner, this one right here, he has seen some things. His are the eyes of terror. Harpooners, 101 of them. 50 shots a piece. Oh no, 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 no. I activated it and the slow-mo kicked in. Pause. Oh, please. Oh, please. I'm scared to let these impact. Here we go. Slow-mo. The impact hitting Saitama. Look at the ring of harpoons around him. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Some of the harpoons are missing and they're gonna hit harpooners. I think the distance makes the accuracy a bit of a problem. Full speed. Saitama is looking particularly pin cushiony now. Regular slow-mo and Saitama is still in the middle of the arena, but now the harpoon shots are going in every direction and the harpooners are more likely to hit each other than Saitama. Now, One Punch Man is unable to close the gap, so he uses a serious punch to clear away one quarter of the harpooners. I'm uh, not gonna lie, I think 50 harpoons per harpooner might have been a mistake. Let's be real, Saitama. I think this whole mod has been a mistake. Ugh, it's like he's being sacrificed to a sacrificial god or something. Let's resume full speed. Oh my god, Saitama, where are you going, buddy? Slow down. I'm gonna do a bird's eye view. We're gonna let this go full speed, and I wanna see if Saitama can actually get close to anyone, or the harpoons can do a decent job holding him. No, he has attacked the harpooners. 50 was not enough. Guys, I have a new idea. I have a new idea. It's a great idea. Nothing could ever, 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 ever go wrong. I think our problem is the sheer number of harpooners. They're too far away and they're missing their shots. And now we're going to shrink the harpoon ring down at this range. How could you miss your shot? We're going to keep it at the 50 for now. And I'm going to do a one spread. I want to see if the spread helps to hit zero recoil, one attack speed. And then we're going to place the smaller number of harpooners. This is about half as many at 58 harpooners. Oh, now big brother and little brother harpooner are side by side. Look at that, that's cute. And uh, this harpooner needs a sandwich. Was this the right idea? Let's see what happens. Slow-mo activated, waiting for the moment. Everything gets fired. Here come the harpoons. You can actually see that one degree spread as the harpoons start to like split apart a little bit, making a tiny like shotgun shell of harpoons. And in maximum slow-mo, you can see them missing the target. Saitama doing his crazy dodging ability, but getting hit in the ribs multiple times by hundreds of harpoons. Which means the harpoons are now going in every direction. And I never realized this. The harpoons are way too close what have i done <laughs> yep that's a problem that's a problem the harpooners are so close to each other that the harpoons just keep on going skewer each other and bring them close enough for one punch man to do his one punching i regret everything i am filled with nothing but regret i mean saitama clearly has been impacted multiple times by the harpoons he looks great he's a pin cushion it's fantastic but so has the rest of the battlefield okay we're going to do stupid. We're going to do a stupid. I I, I regret this. This is gonna this is gonna be fine. I hope this is gonna be fine. Take the circle, expand it. One hundred. Spread five. Recoil none. Attack speed five. This 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 is bad. This is bad. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm definitely scared. Ninety harpooners. Spread five. Attack speed five. These guys are going to be vicious. Saitama, I hope you are ready. Waiting for the moment. The harpooners open fire, waiting patiently. But there it is, there it is. The lag is hit. We are waiting for the harpoons to attack One Punch Man and hopefully not break my game. There they go, there they go, there they go. The spread of five. Pause. What have I created? And Saitama, how are you going to dodge this one, bud? Let's watch this one in slow whoa <laughs> he's gone he's, he's, he disappeared he's in there somewhere hello saitama where are you um you may not believe it but there is a one punch man hiding deep under those pin cushions somewhere how skewered is he going to be i think we're about to find out right now slow mode activate skewers impact the cameraman go through the cameraman and left behind is a one punch man i'm gonna go up i'm gonna look at this guy he seems to be 
quite impacted. I don't think he can move. It's almost a giant dinner plate of harpoon wires. Giving the harpooners a five. Oh no. Oh no, we attacked the harpooners. The harpooners attacked each other and now they're being dragged into Saitama. If there was a way to make the harpooners immune to their own harpoons, this would be foolproof. We are at full speed and Saitama is just a punching. There's, look, 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 what is going on? There's so many harpoons. I can't tell what's happening, guys. What have we done to totally accurate battle simulator? We have broken everything. <laughs> Pause the game. I have created a battlefield that denies all physics and ruins all space and time. Saitama's in there somewhere. If you guys didn't know, the God Powers mod was originally created and developed and maintained by a gentleman named Fern. But Fern has surrendered the reins to none other than the Omega. If you guys don't remember Omega, he made the original One Punch Man that teleported across the world. He made the original Tabs God that flew in the sky and shot giant beams of energy. He made all the crazy overpowered units. So you can expect that when Omega got his hands on the God Powers mod, he would do something crazy, giant, and overpowered. If you would be so kind as to look at the top left-hand corner of the screen, you're going to see a new way of doing God Powers. You see an X, a Y, and a Z, and those correspond with graph coordinates. So you can adjust the values of any god power and tweak them and twerk them and, and, and just do crazy things to them, and I'm about to show you how. There's an apple right there. As you can see, that is just a regularly sized apple. But what if we increase the X axis of the apple, right? What if I took the X axis and made it times four? Here's what happens to your apple. All of a sudden, your apple is stretched. It is stretched horizontally. So what if I took the y-axis and I made the y-axis a four as well? So there's a normal apple. There is apple with the x-axis stretched. Here is an apple with the x and the y-axis stretched. It becomes like an apple pizza, right? Kind of an apple pizza. Now we're going to make the z-axis also large. Make it a four as well. And it's no longer a pizza. It is a four times bigger apple. So for example, what if I made an apple 10 times bigger than before? Just a giant apple, 10 times bigger than a regular apple. Here we go, X, Y, and Z of an apple is large, and we're just gonna summon a 10 times bigger <laughs> apple. And I'm gonna summon a whole boatload of 10 times bigger apples. Oh my God, here we go, here we go. In they go, 10 times bigger, and they smack into all the units. And now I can just make a stream of 10 times bigger apples. Apples flooding the battlefield, getting in on all of these amazing units. This is amazing. Now, we can use this with any god power. For example, I can switch to a spear and summon a 10 times bigger spear than normal. <laughs> oh my god. They look like giant tree trunks. And when the spears collide with a unit, they kind of flop around as the unit moves. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Let me summon even more spears. <laughs> this is the best update to God Powers mod I have ever had the privilege to use. Look at that! Look at that! We're gonna have some fun today. The spear was kind of fun. How about boulders? What if I shot boulders at this? Oh, oh, that's a big boulder. And um, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you realize this, but we're not limited by 10. We can make things bigger than 10 we can go up to 20 we can go up to 30 times bigger we can go 50 times bigger we can go a hundred times bigger can we go a thousand times bigger here we go a bunch of boulders and three two one go and they kind of like smushing into each other that's kind of awkward what if i just kind of shot a oh, hole this might have been a bad idea oh my god oh <laughs> oh my god i love it i love it i love it i love it I'll, hold on. What? Oh, if I, hold, I can hold slow-mo and shoot now. That's kind of cool. Look at that. The boulder is going in. Now, here's a question. So actually, I'm going to answer this. Look at these boulders. Okay. I can walk up to these boulders, and it seems that the size of this boulder actually has collision detection. So a boulder this big will smack into something and actually deal the collision damage as the Reapers wipe up all of these uh, Pirate Queens. But is that true with everything? Is it true with everything that everything will have the same size collision detection? Time for a little science experiment, again, for science. Here we are, boulders. What if I switch to, for example, the bow, and I've got a 10 times bigger arrow than normal. 
Will I be able to shoot tiny units with my giant arrow and hit them, right? When it makes sense that the arrow should collide with the unit, does it actually? Hold on, I gotta aim properly, right there. Okay, that one hit, not a problem. Those all hit, not a problem. Okay, good. A little bit of a list of bolt. A blizzard bolt is very sideways, right? That hit. Oh, please tell me Blizzard Bolts have full collision detection. Like, for example, you see how it's halfway in his body and not knocking him out? It seems like in the center of the Ballista Bolt, there's collision detection, but not all the way through. So I'm just going to go like this and go... I just want to see this happen. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, look at him be distorted and stretched! What is happening? Oh my god! What have we done to that unit? Hold on, do larger ballista bolts have more mass, therefore more acceleration, therefore more force? Let's go into the Viking sandbox. Let's summon um, some ice giants. I have something to test because I like to test. I like doing science. Ballista bolts still 2,000 damage. That's interesting. Let's, um, one ballista bolt for science into this ice giant. Okay, okay, all right, not bad, not bad. Um, one, two, three, four, five ballista bolts into this ice giant. Um, okay, so I don't think they actually have any more force than normal. Um, I, for one, um, feel that the location of these Blissa Bolts is a little inappropriate. Okay, let's escalate. This ice giant right here is going into the sky now. Hold down the bolt and just draw a beautiful little circle of Blissa Bolts. And, um, good no- <laughs> What have I did? What have I created? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. Oh, 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 this ice giant. There's something wrong. There's this belt. That's the ice giant belt. Those are the ice giant eyes. There's the ice giant head, I think. Um, I might have, uh, Team Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just gonna make a beautiful line. Just 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 go like this, right? Just 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 yep. This is everything I need. This is everything I want. You two over here, um, you can stay alive. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something terrible to these ice giants. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my This poor ice giant. These poor ice giants. That is amazing. I love this mod. Let's do 20 times bigger. And let's try out some of these new powers. 20 times bigger. Um, uh, Start the fight. Slow down time. And I'm going to summon a giant bolt of Zeus light in the size of that thing. Oh my goodness. And the problem is, as you can see, just because the bolt of lightning is bigger doesn't mean that it's going to damage people with its larger size. So some of the god powers actually matter that they're bigger some of them just gotta look bigger right if i just go, just go and summon a massive stream of these zeus lightning bolts some of them go all the way that way that was a weird little bounce so zeus lightning doesn't quite live up to the standard when it's bigger what about a different power what about firework arrows oh i didn't even think about this i'm gonna summon firework arrows oh guys Oh, please have big explosions. Please have big explosions. Come on, come on, come on, come on, please. For the love of God. Big explosions? No, normal size explosions. Oh, I want a huge, huge firework explosions. I wonder if we can adjust that so one day. Oh, we're almost there. 99, 100 times bigger. Here we go. I'm going to launch a 100 times bigger harpoon. Right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> just what? That looks like something that would destroy the planet. Just go. Just go. Look at that thing. I actually hit a hobbit. Are you kidding me? All right. What about a 100 times bigger cannonball? 100 times bigger can. No. <laughs> what is that? Let's just go. Oh, it just bounced off. It bounced off the island. I know it's going out of the ocean. Are you kidding me? 100 times bigger Captain's Blunderbuss shot. I'm going to have a bunch of those. Oh, dude. Look at that. But I think that's one of those objects that doesn't have a large hitbox. 100 times bigger fire arrow. 
that is almost longer than the map is wide. Oh, I hit Hobbit and it's flopping. <laughs> 100 times bigger candle fire? Oh, that's not 100 times bigger. False advertising. That was not 100 times bigger. 100 times bigger Halloween catapult rock. Oh, 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 I'm inside. <laughs> We're inside of it. Hold on, I'm back up. What have I done? What have I done? Is this even gonna like What has happened? Oh, oh, oh no! Something's wrong. Something's broken. Look at the units at the bottom of the corner. Look at the units. I I, I think I broke a thing. I think I just crashed the game. Yep, I just completely and utterly crashed the game. Let's set it up again. There we go, back to 100 times bigger. What does a 100 times bigger bone spell look like? Okay, this might be stupid, but I have to do this for science, guys. It's for science. Everything is perfectly fine. Here we go. Bone spell. Oh, pause. Oh my god. Pause. Oh my god. <laughs> what have I done? Pause. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was insanely big. I gotta do that again. And then yet it was that big. If collision detection was proper, every single unit here would be dead. They just leave you all be dead. One shot was that ready? So you go slow mo, right? And go right click. Look at that. Pause. Look. Look at that. That's as large as a mountain. It's two to three times bigger than the high point in this map. That is disgusting. And yet, even with that beautiful majesty, the collision detection is off. It shrinks and the units are still there. So what we need is we need to try something that does have collision detection. And from what we've noticed, the catapult related things do. So the one I want to test is this, the cannonball bomb. Oh no. Oh, I'm inside of it. Oh, please. If you remember the cannonball, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The cannonball bomb, when it hits anything, explodes. So will it explode all those units inside of it? Here we go. Maximum slow-mo in three, two, one, go. Okay, there we go. It's hit. And the explosion's up here. Look at that. That's where the explosion is. And all these units seem... Oh, no, they're affected. Look, some of them are affected. Interesting. So what if we made it lower? What if I, what if I went right here? Right here, guys. Okay. And I buried the giant explosion halfway into the ground. Look at that. It's actually buried. Buried in the map. That is nuts. Three, two, one. That maximum slow-mo. Go. There we go. Uh. uh oh. Oh. It worked. Oh, my God. It worked. It actually damaged every single unit. Look at them go flying over here. Oh, I have something to test for science. We're gonna take our line, we're gonna rotate our line just like this, and then we're gonna make a little army out here, okay? Make just a little beautiful, happy army of happiness, happiness, and just, they're, they're gonna die. This is gonna be death. It's just gonna be death, right? Some catapults over there, maybe drop a king, maybe drop some healers, okay? We've got our attacking army, right? And then blue side's gonna have some units too, so I'm gonna put a uh, unit right there. That's all, that's all that matters, right? So, taking our large bomb, like so, what I've already tried once, what we've already discovered, right? If I put a bomb in a normal spot like that and make a normal looking bomb, when this goes off, it's probably not going to affect the attacking army, right? It's probably not going to do it. So, if I just, you know, started the match, explodes, doesn't affect the attacking army. Though, this unit, look at that. He's not dead, but he was drawn up to the explosion. That's interesting. So now what I wanted to see, what I'm curious about is if I put the bomb on the ground, what happens to these units when they live, okay? So now I'm gonna put some uh, guys over here so that it's not an instant end of the match. No longer an instant end of the match. And I go over here and I take my bomb and I place this giant 100 times bigger bomb and I put it right there. Okay, now, oh, look how deep that is. The units at the back are gonna live. These units are going to live, but what happens? What happens to these units? Maximum slow-mo in three, 
two, one, go. Maximum slow-mo. It triggers. Computer freezes. Pause. Pause. Look at how far they're flung. Here we go. That was just a couple of frames. Now to see how far these units go. Maximum slow-mo. Gone. They're, they're, they're achieving... Yo, what? Yo, oh, pause. Pause. What? <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> what have we done? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at these poor units. Okay. So what we've learned is when you make a bomb 100 times bigger, it may not have the explosive power, but the collision detection of that thing has sent all these units spaghettifying into the distance in disgusting fashion slow-mo that is just it's like it's like stars zooming past at light speed gross that's that's disgusting i just wow